this right here, you flaunt me out, fuck. Bro. That's good. That's clown J Man. We gonna Real start. What you say? We gonna start there? Then, after Butter tells J Man and Chill out, since he's actually cool with them and doesn't want to take things there, that's when J Man continues to bring up Lil J, one of Butter's ops that he fell out with. And you could tell that Butter was serious. What you said, bro. Man, are you stay talking about this Gucci man for what you trying to give him some money for? I'm saying he's trying to stop my money. I'm not gonna keep talking about this with this fat and fuck. It's like I'm arguing <laughs> with my boyfriend and I ain't no man, bro. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm like, like, come on. I keep going back and forth with Lil J and what Lil J say. J Main then pours out a big block of cheese oh, and sits it on the table. Since Lil J and other rappers around Chicago <laughs> say that Butter actually snitched on Lil J, which is why they started beefing. So once Butter saw the block of cheese, he upped his strap and cocked it to make J Main chill out with all of the trolling about him. And J Main, since he real deal, doesn't like that dude. Yep, what's good job ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens, how y'all doing, how y'all feeling? Today we got five rappers who check stupid interviewers. Let's get smooth to it, man. Try biologists, what's going on? They succeed, man. Hey man, you guys are nominated tonight. Have a good show. It's a lot. Come on, Jay. Bro. Oh. Come on, Come on fuck. What do you mean get the out your house, bro? Man, I tell everything go be this Bro. One rapper up this strap on the interviewer for joking too much, and another like spit on the interviewer you. for taking up for his eye. Nah, These so are rappers crazy. who checked stupid interviewers. And we gotta start off with Soldier Boy, because Soldier Boy is known for not being scared to speak his mind and will go off on anyone. In 2019, Soldier Boy was doing an interview with Everyday Struggle, and the main person asking him questions was DJ Academics. Halfway through the show, Academics starts picking at Soldier. First, he tells him he needs to get rid of his Gucci headband since he wears it a lot. Soldier responds by telling him this and pulling out some racks on academics to shut him up. They hate on me because I'm rich. I look better than them. I probably am <laughs> They like me. I'm a pretty <laughs> I look good. I'm sexy. It is you what it is. You gotta get that Gucci headband though, but like, No, you know what this, this is a That's worst now because y'all keep clowning me. I'm gonna wear it even worse. So so y'all keep academics. talking. I love it, bro. I love so you need okay. to I love y'all talking. I can go back. But like you stop. <laughs> oh, Drake, oh, hold up. Well, the racks, oh, shit. I can go you by. Got spooked. You know what I'm saying? I'm we can't even see him. Thirty of these headbands, bro. Seconds later, Soldier lets him know he is mad since they tried playing him like he was broke, and that's the main thing that pisses Soldier off because he starts going off on everyone on the show. No, you just trying to play me like I was broke. No. She was like, "Y'all think Soldier got I'll money try. in the bank?" And y'all think, Camera "Yo, move. you crazy?" Soldier then lets DJ Academics and everyone on the show know that they better respect him or things were going to get ugly. He said he was going to slap them because Academics kept. Kept trying to downplay Soldier Boy like he was a nobody. Nah, y'all gotta face it, y'all gotta respect me, bro. Oh, I'm slap bro. Soldier Boy then roasted academics and let him know he's a hater because academics kept only mentioning the bad things about Soldier, not the mm. good things he's done. You I know, niggas do. So I signed a deal. I'm I keep, yo, you just talking, you a hater. That's not hate. You, a hater. you try to pull up niggas. the behind it. Nah, niggas, niggas, niggas. Uh, what's, what's, the, what's the saying? Niggas screw. Fuck, son. The whisper your yeah, accomplishment shit. Whatever whatever the other part of that shit is, yeah. That shit. That shit's so real. I can't I'm not about to misquote it, so you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean though. Reamers. Everybody know Drake stole my flow, bro, and that's the end of it. He took a line from you and you took the same line from a <laughs> And you fat as <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> But this isn't the only time a rapper completely went off on DJ Academics during an interview. Because back at the 2017 oh. BET Awards, the Migos were on the red carpet Man, during an interview with an Avenger Alexis, DJ Academics, and Joe Button. During the interview, Academics was talking to Takeoff, saying how he was left off the song Bad and Bougie. And Takeoff obviously wasn't happy with Academics asking him this, based on how he responded. Bad and bougie. Man, I don't I nobody bad give no bougie. fuck about, about no academics with this that? clip. You say I'm left off Bad and Bougie? This was just funny. See, I'm left off bad and bullshit? Yeah. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bullshit? Academics Do quickly little, picked little, up on the energy bullshit? and started agreeing with Takeoff off. so things wouldn't get worse. But that's when Joe Button decided to get disrespectful. So Clown. we cut Takeoff and Academics off, saying they needed to wrap the interview. That's that's one thing I like if about a nigga hate, call him Joe Button. Even Pussy! You might see one or the other, y'all move as a collective. All right, we got to wrap this up, though. Wrap it up, okay, then. Okay, wrap it up then. The Migos instantly knew that Joe was trying to be disrespectful. So Quavo told Joe to go ahead and wrap it up. Joe gets even more disrespectful and drops the mic while Academics is paying homage to the Migos and walks out on them. Close it. Close it. Hey, listen, man. I wish I could talk to the Migos longer, man. It's one of my favorite groups. I've been covering for so long. I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey, man, you guys are... That like, niggas is literally outroing. Like, that's so... This nigga's Joe Button is really a real life dick sucker. Like that shit is if that shit is not apparent and y'all don't see any wrong or flaw 
And and what the fuck? Like who does that? Damn ass nigga. That shit is. This nigga's a clown. That shit is so man, fucking one of my favorite groups. Whack. I've been covering for so long. I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey man, you guys are. That's when the whole squad stood hey, up and flex? got ready to do like, something to Joe Button. Nominated tonight. Have a good show. Like and then he gonna turn around with his bitching ass. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, yup, yup. But the video yep, is crazy the front. because his next rapper up the pole on the interviewer for joking around about his op too much since he knew that'll make that piss FBG butt off. FYBJ Main started interviewing Chicago rappers not too long ago. And one day, he decided to bring FBG Butter on his platform since he and Butter are close partners. The interviewer starts off smoothly with J Main since J Main is asking legitimate questions. But midway through, J Main brings up snitching in King Lil J. And this is when Butter starts to get frustrated. At first, J Main pulls out a mousetrap to troll Butter and he lets J Main know that he needs to chill out. Now look, bro. Another thing. Tell you niggas get for the trolling. For yo, rat. Boy, what? Come on, fuck. Playing with me, fuck. This a mouse trap. Man, I don't know nothing about that. Shorty, my Lil J, you was a rat, oh, bro. Oh, before you touch that, talk about this. Get fuck. Oh, two of you making me mad, brother. I love you, folks. I'm trying to show you love on camera, folks. I ain't, I ain't gonna never flow you out. But this right here, you flowing me out, folks. Bro. That's that's clown <laughs> J Man. We gonna Real start. Shit. What you say we gonna start there? Then after Butter tells J Man to chill out, since he's actually cool with him and doesn't want to take things there, that's when J Man continues to bring up Lil J, one of Butter's ops that he fell out with, and you could tell that Butter was serious. What you said, bro. Man, are you stay talking about this Gucci man for what you trying to give him some money for? I'm saying he's trying to stop my money. I'm not gonna keep talking about this what this fat and fuck. It's like I'm arguing <laughs> with my boyfriend and I ain't no man, bro. <laughs> All right. okay, I'm like, like, come on. I keep going back and forth with Lil J and what Lil J say. J Main then pours out a big block of cheese oh, and sits it playing. on the table. Since Lil J and other rappers around Chicago <laughs> say that Butter actually snitched on Lil J, which is why they started beefing. So once Butter saw the block of cheese, he upped his strap and cocked it to make J Main chill out with all of the trolling about him. And J Main, since he real deal, doesn't like that dude. It's nah. Come on, J Main. Bro. Bro. Come on, G. Come on, folks. Now, that's too far, J-Man. Yeah. We gonna start with this too far, J-Man, folks. What the <laughs> That's too far, folks. What the fuck that, folks? Come on. Bro. Yeah. Hey, this is an interview. I gotta have no. man, bro, me and bro. the hell gonna go, man. Bro, I'm just... Me and the hell gonna go. We gonna slide, man. 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 That ain't handling the business. Bro, sit down. Sit down, bro. You ain't handling the handlers, man. Bro, this a joke, bro. Man, ain't no more joke. Bro, stop pulling out price. You whopping Bro. Yeah, over <laughs> It was J Man interviewing Butter so because if it was someone he wasn't cool with, things would have probably gone way worse. The interviewer might have lost their life, but after this interview went viral, Butter started receiving a lot of backlash for pulling the gun on J Man since fans said it wasn't that serious. The police also saw the clip, which almost led to Butter getting arrested on gun charges. Since Butter is on papers, he told everyone it was a skit so he wouldn't get arrested. Talk, talk to me about that a little bit more. Like, they were just talking about, like, yeah, I mean, it did look like a skit, man. Yeah, he brought you a block of cheese. You, like, they feel like you're a snitch, right? Are you working for the government? I'm too old working for no mother government. I ain't, I ain't get paid. Cause you talking about, I'm like, and that's my homie. That's a skit. Now, let's move on to Kanye because he went mega viral back in 2022 for many of his interviews. In one interview with Piers Morgan, Ye completely went off on Piers and was talking sure. over him and kept cutting him off like he was a little boy. <clears throat> Ye was talking about him getting dropped from Adidas and how the whole world was trying to cancel him. But Piers wouldn't stop cutting Ye short and it pissed him off. You need to go to the top lawyers, the top execs, the owners of the Look stadium, the owners of the football teams, and the owners of the record labels. And we're gonna put them all in one room and we're gonna read Every let go top ten in each one of these categories, right? Let's read Michael B. Jordan. Okay, but contract. why would any of that? Let's okay, but why would Donald's any of that? Why bro, would any of hey, that? Bro, <laughs> hey, hey, bro, I ain't finish. I ain't finish my sentence. Nothing you Nothing you say. Does this guy look like he respects black men? Come on, be honest. Hey, it has idea. anything to do hey, with boy. regret? Hey, hey boy, don't call hey, me boy. boy. Don't finish. I told oh, you. Oh, you knew he wanted to oh, retaliate. Don't, like don't call boy. me boy. I'm I'm finish my sentence of my idea. Later in the boy. interview, Ye walked out of the interview since he wasn't rocking with how Pierce was talking to him. After that moment happens, then I will say I'm sorry. Okay, if that's your position, Inter that's interview, interview adjourned. 
But it didn't stop there with Ye. A few weeks later, Kanye went on Tim Pool. And during this interview, he walked off as well, since Kanye was mad that Tim didn't want to speak about Jews, since he knew it would have got him canceled. Because Tim agrees with what Ye is talking about and says they've been unfair to him. That's when Ye asks him, who are they? And wants Tim to put a name on the people who've been unfair to him. Because as I'm getting hosed down every day by the press and financially, I'm just standing there. And when, when I found out that they tried to put me in jail, it was like a dog was biting my arm and I I, I, I almost shed a tear, almost. <laughs> but I still walked in stride through it. Almost shed a tear. Yeah. I, I, think, I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who was they though? But Tim didn't want to be direct since he knew it would have canceled him. So Ye got Depressed, mad and walked like, out since the host was beating around the bush be and he wasn't trying to get canceled. I'm not using the, I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking about- It is about, them though, isn't it? I mean, Maybe because, I'm just, no, 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 because no. when you think it's about not, it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? What, what do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about. Are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. When interviewing rappers, you have to be careful when comparing them to other rappers. One day, DJ Vlad was interviewing a white drill rapper from Chicago known as EBE Bands. Around that time, Slim Jesus, another white drill rapper, was going viral and buzzing really heavily. So Vlad posted an article saying that Bands was the next Slim Jesus. And this seemed to upset Bands since he didn't want to be compared to Slim Jesus due to multiple reasons. Your music video, right, on Vlad, on Vlad TV, right? And, you know, I purposely titled it what I titled it because I wanted it to get a lot of attention. Sorry, I, you know, I said, you know, the next Slim Jesus question mark. Bands then flashes his gun to scare Vlad to show him that he's really about that drill life, unlike Slim Jesus. I ain't no next nothing. I've been out before him. Honestly. Months, okay. years before All him. All right, buddy. He literally just explained and all honest, what, why he did what he did, buddy. I ain't blow up because my look real and authentic. Look real? Not no fool. Is it no real or does it look foolery. real, buddy? My is a CO2 gun. Boy, no, nah, man. No. Nah. Yeah, no, no, no. Nah. And sometimes it's best not to ask rappers about things they've done in the past. Either oh, since it'll make them mad. The Island Boys were on the cups. Danza project. And before coming on the show, they had just gone viral not too long ago for they kissing each other. Pops, a YouTuber like. known as La Mike was also on the show. And he asked the Island Boys if they were going to kiss it out since they were arguing. That's when they get pissed and stand up, letting La oh. Mike know that they'll whoop him right now. Oh, What's shit. In your yeah, you finally bro, dosing you, all of you. You dosing, right? Pause, pause, bro, pause. Bro, I, that's New Orleans lingo for like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 Right. Let's talk. Let's talk. Real life. Not long after that, everything calms down. And one of the Island Boys Mike. talks about how he doesn't care what haters and people on the internet say about him. That's when Danza says, if they feel that way, why like do they get weekend? mad when someone brings up the topic of them kissing? The Island Boys let Danza know he'll tear up all the podcast equipment for bringing that topic up again. And y'all gonna they step to me fight. too? Like, yeah, all right. Pussies, I ain't about to. But, but you say f what they gotta say. That's what you said. I ain't Mike, nigga. Right? But at the end of the day, let's keep it 100 because we got both of y'all here, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what's going on with that's with, with you two kissing each other? And bro, shut your ass. Bro, bro. Break this. Bro, bro. Bro. Hey, hey, yo, that ass, I would love to see you try. Bro, what are you talking about? Hey, yo, yeah, he challenged him. Whoa. The fuck? Niggas, niggas going to stand up to the wrong dude. But these two aren't the only rappers who get sensitive Clowns. about that topic. A rapper known as Baby Los started to make a name oh, for himself brother, after he linked up with again. the Island Boys in 2020. Fans shit. even considered him the fourth Stop, Island Boy, but not bro. too long ago, who a rich cat. Niggas did not even know there was a third Island Boy. Stop this nonsense madness loaded a video trying to clear his name my bad, my because bad, he said bad. boys kissing and this is what upset los and made him flash out on the interviewer i'll bear it for y'all ask you bro like this is everybody wants to know <sighs> did you see the island boys kiss bro i'm mentioning them dudes for real bro like no i'm just saying though like no, did you bro, see no, them no, do no, something together oh no fam fam they weren't gay when i was around fam 
Like, bro, that stop doing that. That statement is bro, like, so stupid. This interview it's ain't about that. Like, it could go down in this interview. They bro, were like, gay when I, around them, when I was around them. Do you want to go down in this interview? Do you want to go down, yes or no? Nah. After the incident, Lowe's oh was God. getting a lot of backlash. So he uploaded a video trying to clear oh his God. name because he said he did it since the interviewer wouldn't listen and stopped speaking about the Island Boys to him. No, all y'all been seeing that interview that been going viral. I thought you got yeah. a scary nigga into, you know what I'm saying? But if you literally watched the last interview before that, I told him, stop speaking on them. Them dudes went rainbow. Why would I want to be associated? <laughs> So in the recent interview that y'all clearly see that's going viral, he want to ask me about them like, fam, I just told you, don't. It's a good thing the interviewer stopped speaking on it after that, because things probably would have been way worse if he had continued talking about them. Now, let's move on to 16 Shot Him, because even though 16 isn't a rapper, he's known in the rap scene for interviewing a lot of rappers. So one day, 16 was on No Jumper, getting interviewed by Flacco, one of the members of the No Jumper team. During the interview, oh, 16 tells shit. Flacco it's like oh, he's, he's playing both Flacco sides, since ass? Flacco is cool with one of 16's ops, but trying to be cool with him at the same time it's like you with me then you're also police too how is that our fault though because you said right? we, what like, you mean how's your fault you standing behind you no. calling me a clout chase and you standing behind this showing you no 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 right and i don't want you to be on my side bro but stop bro stop i think you're like a clout you, chase you like oh then calls 16 kevo to piss him off since band man kevo is the person 16 has beef with so 16 tells flacco to stop playing with them before he smacks him and that's when things get crazy because 16 does this next shut up i just said let the man talk what'd you say kevo <laughs> bro suck my bro that's a hey stop bro. playing before i say nigga through the through frank it. nigga open a frank stint no nah that's so crazy hey, no 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 Watch out, we ain't doing that here. What the Same fuck are you? Fucking, who's this is ghost? <laughs> Like Thankfully, the security was there because things would have been way worse since they spit on each other. Now, let's move on to Snoop Dogg because in 2011, shit. Snoop went to Norway for an Adidas promo. He unfortunately arrived late to the interview, so the report Wait, straight up bagged right. Snoop why he was late. But Snoop told him to be happy that he's there since he didn't have to show up at all. Oh. Five hours late here. And man, shut up. Come on, man. Then we just saw you on oh, Twitter on. from the border. Five hours late. I'm here to be happy. I'm here. Snoop then tells the interviewer to get out of there and makes the dude leave the room since he wasn't asking him any real questions. Now, let's move on to ESTG. He was doing an interview with Bootleg Kev and got mad that Kev was talking more about his football career than his music career. Kev talks about seeing a picture of G in some football equipment and asks G for more details about it. So G asks him how he sees the picture, but not read an article about it. I've seen this picture of you at the NFL Combine. Yeah. Which... What? You yeah, ain't seen no picture no NFL Well, combine. I saw you in like the NFL Combine looking like workout. Yeah, like a, a workout. Was that just a workout you were doing for a team? I don't know how you see the picture. You ain't read the article that came with Kev continues only talking about football. So G asks Kev what any of this has to do with music, since G mm -hmm. came on the platform to talk about his music. What do I got to do with music? No, I'm just curious because I'm a big football fan. So like, I'm just like, I just, I, I'm a huge football fan. And I find it fascinating that like you really like have like a real high level like football run. You know what I'm saying? Before the rap. And you can tell this really pissed G off since he stopped talking and was ignoring Kev. Then, seconds later, he got up and walked out of the interview since he was annoyed with Kev. Like, are you embarrassed about you fucking playing a sport? What a segue or some shit. I mean, I guess you can't even talk about your music, but he had, he had a, at least this thing came with a good rebuttal, a good reasoning for podcast history. We had someone walk off of the set. Now, let's move on to upcoming Atlanta oh rapper, Baby Keith, because gosh, he was doing an no, interview with Lil bro. Pistol. Pistol is known for trying to roast and joke around with rappers during his interviews. But while doing this, Pistol takes things a little too far and decides to ask BK a very weird and suspicious question. That's when BK checks Pistol and instantly lets him know BK? that he doesn't play like that. Funny, yeah. yeah. A female ever tried to eat your before? Hey, nah, what? Where the hell you from? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't play that. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared. Of, I'm scared. 
Man, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, what? Pistol's whole mood like changes, that, and he chills out with all the joking, Not since bad. he knows BK is serious and doesn't want things to go bad on the interview. Now, let's move on to the rapper, P.D. Weestraw, because P.D. Ooh. stars the interview and everything is cool. But the interviewer tries picking on P.D. after P.D. doesn't know the exact age he moved to the state he lives in now. Local artist, P.D. Weestraw. What's good, Straw? What's happening? Hey, it's good to have you here at Birmingham, unsigned but major bio interviews. And uh, I just want to ask you a few questions so the fans can get to know you a little better as an artist. That's cool with you? Yeah, that's cool with me, bro. All right, bet. So first off, we start off by asking you, where you from, man? Tell everybody where you from. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, the 504, you know what I'm saying? Moved up here to 205 Birmingham, Alabama when I was about, what, three, six, nine years old? Yeah, shit. When you was, that's you was ranch. about three, six, nine years old. <laughs> yeah, about three, six, nine, like... 369, uh, was it Mafia? No, Mafia. Okay. Um, and, uh, 36. Seconds later, the interviewer's phone starts Never ringing. Mind. He Very fires much. back at the interviewer, saying that's disrespectful. And he's messing up his interview. From there, things start to get tense between the two. Okay. And, uh. Like I said, it can be edited out, man. Calm like, down. what are we talking Hello? about? I'm your dumbass fucking man. The interviewer <laughs> didn't it. acknowledge Petey at all and talked on the phone during half of the interview. You could tell that Petey That's was stressed crazy. about that. That's kind of crazy, to be fair, but shit, it can't be edited out. But he is trolling with the interview. What is it? My bad, Straw. That's when the interviewer let Petey know he apologizes for that. But Petey tells him he's going to let that one slide. The interviewer goes back to asking him questions. But with one question, Petey doesn't answer. So the interviewer makes a smart statement saying that isn't what he asked. Man, oh, shit. Call me on some emergency. But, you know, back Say what? I said that would be respectful. I don't give no What I'm saying is, back, back to the interview, man. Back to the interview. I apologize, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was kind of unprofessional, but at the end of the day, you know, we all have, we, we all have, you gonna let it slide. <laughs> let everybody know, we know what started you with this music. Man, I'm trying to reach the top. All these, they Birmingham and Man, you know about my Birmingham Top 10 countdown, right? That shit gonna be up, chunk. Right. Yeah, man, but got. Nigga said right. But I asked, I asked. The question was, let everybody know how you got started. Like, what got you started? <laughs> and Petey gets pissed, letting the dude interviewing him know no, that he'll tear everything shit. up in the house since he's disrespecting him during his interview. You got me started. <laughs> I'm saying, I always got that conversation, bro. You ain't do that nobody else. I seen, I, I seen the other that you did, bro. You ain't do that. Fam, else. first off, we edit videos, so like, like, like that happened. I don't give a fuck. I'm saying, no and Get edited, my nigga. So you don't know what I did with the other people. Right. Calm down, and, and you gonna you gonna either do your interview. What you gonna do you about gonna it? it? It's, it's whichever one you wanna do, my nigga. Doing you a favor. Whichever one you wanna do. I'm doing you a favor. Doing you a favor. Bro, how the doing me a motherfucking favor? Okay then. Uh -oh. well, I'm about to do no motherfucking favor for me. Let's get that right, bro. Okay then. On everything, bro. Don't even come in. I cannot like take this nigga serious. I'm not gonna lie. Gonna make me so I'm gonna do you a favor until you get the. Mm. You get the f your house, bro. You hear me? My house. How about that? Man, I tell you everything go, bro. You tear it up. Tear it up, then. Get your. I'm pulling a gun, I bro. And if the interviewer had been strapped, things probably would have been way worse, since Petey probably would have done him badly. But speaking of getting done Who bad, Petey, rapper yeah. Fat Drench right, caught his op and did him bad on live. And another rapper got hit at with oh, a switch after and calling us, his ops and, out and, on and live. live. So click this video to see teen rappers who had oh. shootings live. No. Don't know them niggas. Niggas don't look familiar to me. If it's worth it, let me know. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we here for this. All right. Um, yeah, man. Damn. Interviewers be crazy. Interviewers be crazy. When they in the wrong, they in the wrong. But when, you know what I'm saying? Other shit going on, it's like, all right. But anyways, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description, get in tune. Y'all take it easy. Good, 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 good.